If you have been import from China using 1688 Chinese shopping app, consider to watch this video because I'm going to show you the ultimate guide to buy from 1688 Chinese shopping app PC tutorial. So let's go. But before we dive into the tutorial, as you know, my name is Rafi Yaku. I'm an importer and a procurement agent. If you want me to procure a link on 1688, Taobao or Pindodo, or you want me to fund your Alipay account, or you want me to coach you on how you can be a procurement agent, consider to contact me on WhatsApp with the number in the description of this video. And don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell for more useful tutorial, tips and tricks on how to import from China using 1688 Chinese shopping app without any stress. Very easy tutorial. So let's go. Welcome back to the ultimate guide to buying from 1688. Very easy tutorial. So let's go. The very first thing you need to do is to make sure you open up your 1688 Chinese shopping app. So I'm going to simply click on here to open my 1688 shopping app. Then after you open up your 1688 shopping app, next thing you need to do is to simply source for products from different supplier. So ordinarily, there are so many ways to source for products from different supplier. One of the first way is to simply scroll down, up and down, just like what I'm doing right here, and then select the actual product you would like to purchase. Alternatively, you can simply come to the top right here and click on here to simply type the product name in the keyword right here, or better still, you can make use of this camera icon right here, which stands for image search. What you do here is to simply upload the picture of the product right here, and you are going to see a similar result. Alternatively, if you want to connect direct with manufacturer, across China, what you need to do is to simply click on here. This section here allows you to see all manufacturer or sellers of different kind of products direct from China. Or better still, click on here to see new and latest products at this particular section. That's simple as that. So, however, once you are able to source for product, the next thing you want to do is to simply add the product to cap. Now, let's for instance, I want to from this particular store right here. So I'm going to simply click on the product link right here. Then after click on the product link, it takes me to this particular page. Next thing I'm going to do is to simply click on here to proceed to sales page of the supplier. That's going to take you to this particular page. Next thing you need to do is to simply scroll down and check on the product graphics. So the more you scroll down, the more you see different product graphics. Just like what you see right here okay so these are different product graphics okay now once you are able to get to this stage next thing you need to do is to simply add the product to cart and for us to add the product to cart what we need to do is to simply click on here so we have everything right here next thing i'm going to do is to simply click on here to expand the product so we'll be able to see everything right here, okay? So at this section here, this is where I need to choose the size and the color quantity I want from this particular store, okay? So I need this one right here, just one piece. What I need to do is to simply click on here to add one. And I have to swipe this way and look for another one I want. So I need this one right here. So this one right here, I need it. So I need just one. So I'm going to click on here to add one. Just like so. Next thing I'm going to do is to simply click on here to add everything to cart. So the product has been successfully had to cart. Let's see how you can add another product from another supplier on 1688 Chinese shopping app. So and, uh, in, from this particular store right here, I need to add another product to cart. So we can simply scroll down and check some of the rating, then scroll down all the way to the bottom and check the product graphics, just like what you see right here. The more you scroll down, the more you see everything. Now let's add the product to cart. For us to do that, we simply click on here. So everything is going to open up just like so. So right here, I need one pink, then I'm going to click on here to add one. I need one black. So I'm going to select black color, then add one. Next thing I'm going to do is to simply click on here to add everything to cart. Just like so. Next thing I'm going to do is to simply click on here to proceed to my cart. So we have all the products right here. Next thing I'm going to do is to simply click on here to select everything. 
So next thing I'm going to do is to simply click on here to proceed to check out our payment. So I need to scroll down right here and uh, make sure that my Alipay is checked. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is to simply click on here to proceed to payment. Then I need to click on here to confirm my payment. Then enter my payment password. So payment done successful. Next thing I'm going to do is to click on here to close this pump up. And I have to go back to my profile, go back. And for me to fill my profile, next thing I need to do is to simply click on here to proceed to my profile. And I'll get to my profile. By the time I refresh, the two products we just purchased is going to be found right here. So let's check it out. So here we go. We have the first one right here, and we have the second one right here. It's as simple as that. So this is the ultimate guide to buying from 1688 Easy Tutorial. I hope you really got value for this video. If you find this video useful, give this video a big like. And also, remember to subscribe to the channel for more useful tutorial tips and tricks on how to import from China with 1688. And lastly, but not the least, if you want me to procure a link on 1688, Taoba, or Pinduoduo, or IDPish, or you want me to pay a Chinese supplier, or you want me to coach you on how you can be a procurement agent, consider to contact me on WhatsApp with the number in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye for now.